here in Portland, Oregon at Hotworks Urban Brewery, otherwise known as Hub. And really, it's one of my favorite breweries in Portland. I come here every time. And I'm here with Matt Speckenbach. We call him Spec. And what do you do here with Hub? Uh, I'm one of the brewers, and I'm also in charge of a lot of the filtrations. Okay. So I haven't been here in a couple years, and I just got here, and instantly you invited us in. You're very welcoming, and you took us back to, to share some of your... Uh, Amazing beer, I should say. What was the first beer you gave me? Because it's one that I'm going to remember. Uh, so the first beer that I gave you was uh, our Imperial IPA, the Ace of Spades. Uh, we took it and aged it in a couple of Buffalo Trace uh, bourbon barrels. Okay. So it sat in there for about two months and uh, blended it back together. And that's what you guys had. So it was. it's a high gravity beer. But it, it didn't taste hot, it didn't have high alcohol. Even the, the bourbon and wood character was really kind of vanilla and smooth. I don't know how you guys combined all that to kind of just get it to be so smooth. Uh, I would say it's probably the amount of hops that we threw at it. Uh, the beer gets two days of dry hopping and uh, when we blended it back together, we added more hops in there as well, so. And what was the uh, original gravity of it, or the Play-Doh? Uh, Play-Doh was tw uh, 21 and a half. And at finish? 3-2, maybe. Yeah. So see, that's one of the things I really liked about it, because it, it just finished dry enough that you wanted another one, even at, what was it, 9 and a half percent? Uh, half. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know exactly what it turned out after the barrels, but it definitely picked up a, a little bit of something there. Okay. Yeah. And that beer, uh, maybe it was just a base beer, or, or is it that recipe itself actually won you guys a gold at GABF, right? Uh, it actually did. Uh, we're extremely proud of that one. Uh, it was 2009, got us a gold in the Imperial IPA category. And the second beer that you gave us, uh, which I have now, is I think you called it an Imperial Red, right? Uh, that it is. It's our Galactic Imperial Red. Uh, it actually is very similar to the Ace of Spades. It's also a 9.5% beer. It also gets the two-day regimen of dry hopping. And uh, it's just a nice, clean, sort of caramel uh, body there to help balance out the hops that are going on. Clean caramel, I think, is, is probably the best term because sometimes it can get a little, it just sticks around on your palate too much. You don't want another pint because of that. But this is clean and dry. Yeah, it uh, attenuates pretty low. So it's uh, another one that finished right around that same area. So about three, two or so. And I was kind of fascinated about your, your dry hopping schedule. I guess all your beers you do on a two or three day schedule and you do it right at the end of fermentation. Can you tell us that? Uh, yeah, basically right at the end we wait until it's almost terminal and then uh, just throw it in, give it three days to sit and do its thing. It might drop a couple little points there, but it's just right there at the end, crash it and move on, Ready to go. make the next beer. Yeah. Okay. And I guess the last thing we should mention, I know I've talked about this before when I've interviewed uh, the owner here, Christian, and things like that. As much as possible, you guys try to be an all-organic brewery. Oh, absolutely. Uh, ever since day one, we've been uh, certified Tilth Organic. Um, we have, when we started, we were in uh, the middle of the hop crisis, so not all of our hops were organic, but as we've burned through some of those contracts, we've been bringing in the organic hops, and uh, we're going to continue to be a uh, carbon neutral and certified organic brewery. Yeah. And I guess this contraption in front of us, which is a rolling uh, two-tap keg bike, is part of your uh, carbon neutral program. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it is powered by beer. So. Okay. <laughs> Well, thanks for having us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. All right. As soon as Spec turns his back, I'm going to steal this bike and put it in the Brewing Network van because it's one of the best things I've seen on our whole trip. This segment has been brought to you by craftbeer.com, celebrating the best in American beer. We'll see you at the next stop.